Hi there, it's Uncle Laurie here, back with another shave video. Yes, it's um, the weekend and it's Saturday today. Um, I'm a day early on my shave because I'm going out tomorrow uh, early so I won't have time to do a shave video or make a shave video. So we'll do it today. So what are we going with? Well, we're sticking to our aquatics. We're doing a Barrister Man Oceana, which is a lovely aquatic scent. Reminds me of beach, driftwood, some slight sunscreen type scent, citrus. Hmm, I like it. It's a wonderful scent. And uh, the brush we're going to use, I picked up this Yaki brush on discount because you see how it's um, got that angle on that paw. So it went in the reject box, picked it up for $12. I don't mind a little bit of character in my brush handle, so that's pretty good price for me. And in there, it's got a 24 mil, uh, what is it, a um, polar knot. Polar knot set to 56 millimeter loft or thereabouts. So I'll stick that in my mug to soak. I think it's called the Husky, Husky handle. The razor, we're going with the Edwin Jagger D89 head with the Yaki Quo handle with a nickel plated Quo handle. Satchy hollow in the center bit here, which makes it around about 28 grams. So the total weight, I'll just measure it, I think it's about 58 grams or something like that. Let's quickly check. Sixty-five grams with the blade in it. So the handle must be about thirty-two, I suppose. All right. Um, what else are we using? We use the Yaki porcelain bowl, Yaki Duke, the blue greeny colour. We've got the. 20 ml syringe filled with 20 ml of water already to go. And I've got my sample or scoop ready to go there, half a teaspoon. I'll just show you the pour. It's a nice even pour on this. So the soap is, um, it feels hard when you press it, but when you scoop it up, the soap is actually quite soft. So in the spoon, yeah, it's quite soft and sticky. I think it's the same thing that happens with the Omnibus. So this is not the Omnibus, Omnibus. this is the Excelsior, the, um, the base before. Still a good base. Um, and we're going with the pre-shave of Suvetsiko. And we'll put that on, and then we'll go over to the lather cam. Ready to go. I've already got the soap, half a teaspoon of soap squashed in there. So I'll just get my brush, with a squeeze and a shake. Just a damp brush. And we'll get started. Just swirling and making a paste. Just add a bit of water, it's a bit dry, so put in three mil. Help the 
the paste builder. This uh, makes it quite a dense leather, as you can see, already quite dense. Looking good. Okay, start adding water. looking pretty good. Now we'll keep adding water. This soap can take quite a bit of water. and rich yogurt like leather I'm just using the tips at the moment so we don't introduce too many bubbles Go to our normal 15 and see how it looks. Oh, there's a lump there. Come on, squash it out. Quite happy with that. Looks pretty rich, yogurty. All right, finished making that leather, and that's a nice looking droopy leather, but not runny. That's what we're going with. So I've already put the pre shave on. Like I said, just before I started the leather build, so I'm just re wet the face. We moisten that pre shave and we'll get started. Oh, before we get started, I'll put the um, scent description and um, ingredient list just here. That's the excels here ingredient list, or at least that's the one I can find. It looks like a correct one. All right, here we go. Oh, that's lovely. That's a nice, it's a nice soft knot, this uh, polar knot. Could even be softer than the cashmere. Lovely scent coming off. At least a five out of ten, mid strength. Like I said, I get that sort of driftwood smell or scent, aroma, with a 
bit of citrus. I don't know whether that makes sense or not. Uh, what to say? Uh, it's got salt water, bergamot, sandalwood, and jasmine. So, probably makes sense. Just put a bit of alum on my fingers. Get ready for the razor. Like I said, um, this is not the handle that came with the razor. Back in my previous video, this is the uh, handle that came with the razor, which is a little short. I think it's three inches. But also um, the black coating is starting to come off. So I've changed to this Yaki Quo handle. It's actually about the same weight. And in the razor I've got the Gillette Wilkinson sword blade from India. This one, they call the saloon pack. On its uh, third use, yeah, third use. We third and final use. Very nice scent. I like my aquatics. When I was young, I spent a lot of time on the beach, so I do enjoy using aquatic scent. It gives me childhood memories. Okay. Second pass. Lovely thick leather. Certainly wet enough. With uh, little blobs coming off. Okay, let's see if I can do the second pass in the camera. I'm just being very gentle with my touch. Very nice, that's very slick. So if you Happen to pick up an Excelsior base instead of the new Omnibus. I don't think you'll be disappointed. Oh, cross screen.
Just got to watch the uh, blade overhang. Very nice. Slickness is awesome. And residuals is really good. See the shine is, I don't know whether you can see, but it is very shiny. This is a very nice brush for just 12 bucks. That's 12 dollars Australian. I'm not talking about American dollars. That's delivered to my door. So if you're looking for a, a cheap brush, look out for some of the Yaki uh, defective or defect reject. No, defect. I think they're called. As you can see there, I can just shave quite easily out of the area that doesn't have um, lather on it. Very slick residual. Do a bit of puffing now. Okay, that's not the oh wonderful shave. All right, let's feel for the touch-ups on the jawline. As we normally get it, just underneath the jaw there. And a little bit down here, but we, we don't worry about getting too much of that. We just do what we can with a light touch. Cheeks are pretty good. Just a little bit of touch up under the moustache. Now I'm doing, I always do a bit of touch-ups, um, 
Whether you do them or not is purely up to you. And your skin. Maybe your skin can't take another pass on the blade. Doing a bit of riding the cap on the cheeks. Sorry, I'm a bit quiet, aren't I? Just enjoying myself. With a lovely scent. I'm not a very good storyteller as such, but. <coughs> oh, that's lovely. It's actually my wife's birthday today. She's not here today, she's actually in Thailand. All day. Oh, it's wonderful. And she uh, having a pretty good time visiting her parents and her elder sister. I'm happy with that. Feels good. Should keep me going until after lunch tomorrow. All right then, let's. Um... Do a quick rinse. Pat down. And do an alum test. Some minor tingles around the neck. Pretty well clear. Just a few tingles here and there. Nothing more than one. All right, very happy with that shave. I'll quickly rinse that alum off. So we can put the um, face wash on, leftover leather, which is a lot of. Look at it, beautiful. You could easily go with quarter of a teaspoon of this stuff. Okay, I'll put this on. Oh, lovely scent. And I'll go and have my shower, come back and do the post shave. Wow, that was a wonderful shave. Yeah, beautiful. Very smooth. I don't see any weepers. No nicks, no cuts, no irritations. Wonderful. Let's get into the post shave. We go with the Imperial Bergamont, which has um, menthol crystals in it. Let's 
still alcohol in this one. A lovely bergamot scent. And it's got uh, water, hydrated castor oil, whole lot of ingredients in there. I can't, well, I can't see it properly. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> then we're going with a Lucky Tiger Vanishing Cream. down towards the bottom as you can see this is a eucalyptus and menthol light menthol scent mm, wonderful spread it around put some on my dome Elbows. Massage it in. All right. And then the final ingredient, I'll just wipe in my hands so they're not slippery. We're going with the Parasso Green or Reef Refreshing, which is again, it's got eucalyptus. Oh, wonderful eucalyptus and something something else Got me a bit woody I think wonderful oh yes okay then that's my shave today thank you all for watching and I'll catch you on my next shave which will maybe Monday or Wednesday next week cheers